Those of you who follow me on YouTube and Facebook know how passionate I am about rider safety. And there are a couple of scenarios that concern me when I'm riding my motorcycle. Now the first thing is the most common. You're going through an intersection and somebody coming the other direction is going to make a left turn right in front of you because they don't see you. The second scenario is, you know, I'm slowing down, coming to a stop, and the guy behind me is distracted. He's not paying attention and he doesn't see me and he runs into me from behind. That's another very common motorcycle accident. So what can you do to help prevent these types of situations? Well, every motorcycle I've owned since 2006 has had the Keyson Tailblazer brake light modulator and the Keyson Pathblazer headlight modulator. I think these are the two most important safety items you can add to any motorcycle. Both of these products are completely legal in all 50 states and Canada. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I installed these on my 2018 Goldwing. It's really very simple, and I think it's the most important thing you can add to your bike for rider safety. Today we're going to be installing a path blazer headlight modulator and a tail blazer deceleration warning onto a 2018 Honda Goldwing. If you look down through the tunnel area on the left hand side of your motorcycle, you'll locate the single headlight connector. It's on the back of the headlight assembly located here. And we need to disconnect this before we can install the Keyson Path Blazer. By turning your handlebars all the way to the left, uh, you should be able to get your hand down through that small area to get to the back of that connector. Now, you'll locate a small tab on top of this connector, and if we press that tab down as we pull back on the connector, it will release from the back of the headlight assembly. Your Path Blazer kit comes complete with the Path Blazer modulator itself, a daylight sensor, and a mounting collar for the daylight sensor. The mounting collar is used if you want to permanently mount the daylight sensor, or you can use a cable tie as I'm going to do in this installation. The daylight sensor measures the ambient light and lets the Path Blazer know when it's safe to use the modulator. When it's dark out, you want your high beams to function as normal high beams. On the back side of the Path Blazer modulator, you'll notice a small port, and this is where we plug in the daylight sensor. Now on one end of the daylight sensor cable, you'll notice a small plug, and let's just go ahead and plug that into the back of the Path Blazer before we do the installation. I just think it makes it easier to do it now. Now we're just about ready to install the Path Blazer. I just want you to notice there are two different plugs here. One will go into the back of the headlight assembly and the other plug uh, will be used to connect to the original headlight connector that we removed earlier. I've attached that Velcro mounting pad to the opposite side of the Path Blazer modulator uh, opposite from where the daylight sensor plugs in. It's the side that has the label on it. Now the installation is pretty simple. You're just going to plug the Path Blazer modulator into the back of the headlight assembly. Of course you want to make sure you got the correct plug. It'll only go in one way. So just clip that into place. And then the other plug on the modulator will connect to the wire coming from the headlight harness. Now I'm going to secure the Path Blazer modulator to this small flange. It's like a little shelf of plastic on the back of the headlight assembly. You can see how I've mounted it here. Of course, you want to make sure you clean that little plastic uh, shelf area before you use that double-sided tape to stick down the Velcro pad on the plastic. I'm going to temporarily mount my daylight sensor to this hydraulic brake hose coming off of the right handlebar. You can see it here. Now I will permanently mount this sensor at a later time uh, and I'll do a different video on that. But I just want to show you how this works for now. I'm just securing the cable uh, to this little subframe. 
uh, piece here. And I will bundle up all the additional wire from this cable and cable tie it to that frame as well. Now oncoming traffic is sure to see you coming when you hit your high beams with the path blazer modulators. You'll need to remove your seat to connect the tail blazers. Make sure you remove the side covers and disconnect the heated seat connector before removing the seat. If you need more information on removing the seat, refer to your Cruise Man's Garage maintenance videos or the Honda Service Manual. Okay, so this is what the connector looks like with nothing else connected in line. This is how it would look from the factory. So you're basically going to disconnect these two halves by pressing this little tab right here and pulling this half toward the rear of the motorcycle. So if we, I'm going to do this with my other hand, if we press down on this tab and pull this connector, you can see it comes apart right there. The tail blazers will connect in line in between the other two factory connectors. And it doesn't matter which one goes on which side. Just make sure you get the right connector in the right place, but they'll only really go in one way. Now I'm connecting the left side tail blazer first. As you can see, I just clip it right into place and then connect the other half to the remaining connector at the rear of the motorcycle back by the radio. And then you want to kind of lay the tail blazer flat so that the seat will go back on with no problem. And now we can do the right side the exact same way. Of course, the right side installs exactly like the left side, and this installation assumes you don't have any other accessory harnesses installed. But for the purpose of demonstration, let's assume you do have another harness installed, such as one from Pathfinder or Ciro, or in my case, a Show Chrome Isolator. Now, Keyson expects that these will all work uh, with the Tailblazer. You just want to make sure the tailblazer is the last thing in the series. As I'm doing here, I'm including my show chrome harness just so you can see how I do it. And you just want to make sure that all of these harnesses lay down flat and out of the way so that your seat goes back on properly. Now when you apply the brakes, traffic coming up behind you will see rapidly flashing lights to get their attention. The tailblazer lights flash rapidly at first and then gradually slow down and become a steady beam. Notice how Keyson uses the tail light and the brake light for maximum impact. Now let's hit the brakes one more time. You now have maximum visibility from the rear. 